Hi, this is Lisa from Local King Rubber Stand. Today I'm going to show you how to make this draw background ESO car. The last tutorial we was showing you how to use a watercolor to create the landscape gap background and also we was showing you how to create a sunset background. So this is a, or this week's a special promotion. Uh, we have a pretty good deal. Make sure you check it out. If you don't want to miss our awesome tutorial, make sure you follow us on the Facebook or subscribe our YouTube channel. We do not send a newsletter out every time when we launch a new tutorial. If you don't want to miss all the awesome stuff, just make sure you like us on the Facebook or subscribe our YouTube channel. Okay, so this is at least uh, uh, week's special promotion. You're going to get the ESO die in the Wild Safari stamp and die combo set for only $49.99. It's a great deal. It's until July 20, uh, 20th. So make sure you go to our website and find all the information. And also we are going to use the background stamp is crackle and uh, our wave background. Make sure you sign up our newsletter because we do have a 20% coupon code running uh, once a while. So materialist, we're going to have a two impact um, and we are going to use a Versa mark. We are going to have a clear embossing powder and we're going to use at least a Teddy Brown uh, brown embossing powder. If you don't have it, you can use a black color or something similar that work the same. We're going to use our ESO die already pre-cut it and uh, you are not going to assemble it yet because it's um, easy to work when it's flat. And after we color it, and then you can just assemble it after. Okay, we're going to use at least a crackle background to create a draw looking background stamp, uh, background. So we are going to use this Versa mark. If you have been following my tutorial, most of the time I always just show you um, um, robbing is how you color your impact. But this time when you use a Versa mark, the only way you can get a nice coverage is the uh, kind of tap. Versa mark is kind of glue, it's very sticky. So make sure you give a nice tapping. Okay, and then we are going to place our card on top. So the the base color on the back base we're going to use the crackle. So I'm going to just put my card here, and I'm going to just rub with my finger. Make sure you rub everywhere to get a nice stamp. Okay. So verse mark impact is kind of like a watermark impact. It's kind of gluey and has no color. So it is a little bit hard to see when I'm stamping on the white cardstock. And I'm going to just sprinkle with uh, uh, teddy bear brown embossing powder on top. So that's what it looks like. If you don't have the teddy brown um, embossing powder, here's what you're gonna do. You're going to use brown pigment impact and then use a clear embossing. So that way after you stamping with a brown impact and use a clear embossing, they look exactly like a brown embossing. I'm gonna heat, um, heat it and I'll be right back. Okay, to be able to make this card, we have to work on both sides. So I already did the, um, the, the base and uh, you can repeat two times to stamp a little bit more, but I found that after you fold it, it doesn't really matter if you go that far. So I stamped the, the front and now I'm going to turn back and I'm going to stamp the back and I'm going to stamp um, two times to make sure I completely cover this section. Okay, so here is a great tips for you. Um, when I make the first car art and I um, stamp the background, so I was uh, putting my stamp like that, even though our background stamp is pretty big, it's a four by the five and a quarter, but sometimes um, it's still a little bit small when you want to make a larger car. So when I stamped it, and then here is some white gap between, it's kind of ugly. So what I'm going to do now, uh, we are going to avoid this white, uh, the white gap. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate my stems and then um, because these stems are not the, the big enough so what I'm going to do is we have to go to stem two times so I stem the first time I create this one and then here is my line okay so what you're going to do is you get the perfect line up is that you are kind of marking you know the back of your car that's the place 
the border of your first image. And this one. And then we're going to use a pencil. We're going to draw in a very, very light line. The back of your car. Okay. And this time, we're going to ink again. So we're going to ink. Make sure the first mark you're going to tap, not rub. You won't be able to rub it. And then, see, the, we already stamped here, right? And I mark in the back with a pencil so you can erase. And then when you put your car on top of your stamp image, that line is going to be lined out with the border of your background stamp. And we're going to do that. And that way you get a perfect two-time stamp image. And I'm going to just do the embossing. Like that. Okay, I am, I think you can see pretty well. Um, I'm gonna show you how to create these rough elephant skins texture looking. So please watch the tutorial number 80. Um, in tutorial number 80, I was showing you how to color this one with uh, or water-based markers. So after you color them, we are going to use our crackle again. And we're going to put the here. And we are going to apply the Versa mark. And uh, we are going to put the card directly on top. So I use the watercolor paper and uh, I use the smoothest side. They do have a two side. One is a little bit rough, one is a little bit smooth. And uh, you can, I don't I think, can you see a little bit like watermark? And then we're going to use the, apply the clear embossing powder. It is a hard to see when you do a clear embossing um, powder, but it's going to look like a magic as soon as when you add color. Or Safari um, combo set, it comes with one stamp and two die cut only for $24.99. So most of the die cut on the market is something like that. There's nothing between. So you um, put on top, you die cut it. They usually have a big white gap between your image and most of people, they are pretty happy already. But the local kings, the matching guy, is right next to the line. They cut it between, they also do the embossing. But I want to show you, you can use this one to create it. a lot of a different kind of pattern. Make sure you check our other tutorial. With one combo set, there is a 10 plus different kind of pattern that you can use. And today I'm going to show you the other pattern that I just uh, found out that we can use this die cut. Okay, so this is what it looks like um, after we use our background die cut, cut it out. And uh, but like I say, we have a both die cut. We have a background die cut, we have a detail die cut. And then these, the, or detail cut, die cut cut between. And then, um, but we can use both of them. You can see there is some kind of wide gap between. And uh, when we use detail die cut, they will cut it off. But how did I keep the inside is a, like a right next to the, to the image, but the outside they have some kind of white borderline. Uh-huh, that's something I accidentally find out. I'm gonna show you how, did you how can you do that. Okay, before we do that, we're going to um, color first. So I use my makeup sponge. I kind of just rub it on top. So see, when, you, when I um, rub the color on top, you can see the embossing is kind of pop out, right? The white embossing, it kind of create a very unique back looking. And uh, for the elephant, I am going to use the gray color. So I'm going to grab the one clean makeup. Uh, well, elephant is actually, we already colored with watercolor. Uh, we're going to use a little bit gray color, kind of rubbing on top of that watercolor. When you do that, you can see the texture, it kind of pop off. Okay, so just gently rub. You can do a little bit gray, you can do a little bit ochre, you can do a little bit brown. That's something, look like that. It's kind of unique, right? And then, so when I make this car, I was planning to put the car that, like this, but that way I don't see the, the behind. So I say, okay, I am going to die cut it. So that's what I developing. So I'm going to use my detail die and I'm going to put on top. Okay, it's very easy to line up. 
and I'm going to run to the machine and I will be right back. Okay, so this is what happened after I used my detail die cut. So if you take a look, that white border line is very, very thin die. And I'm going to use that thing that you create um, to show you the other tutorial. And there's a little hinge still attached. Um, in the other tutorial, I was showing you how to use the least die cut to make a perfect shaker card. And then, but I just found out there's all the, also other way to use these uh, background die cut. So it looks better with a little bit border line when your background is a little bit complicated. If you just have the imi image like a right next to them, sometimes um, it depends on what you like. For this car, I just found out that white border is just to give it some extra touch out. But you are the artist, you do whatever you like. So if you want to break it out, you don't like those uh, white um, gap, it's only like a four little, four or five little hinges still attached on top. Easily break it off and then you lose the frame. Okay, so with, without it, the option is there. You make the call and see what do you like. Okay, so now we're going to working on the background. Sometimes I'm looking for the idea too, like I want to do the draw um, on finish and I go to the internet and on the website, you can find the most of the um, um, the picture online now. So just looking for some idea, like this one is pretty good and I kind of use a brown, a little bit um, ochre and a little bit um, darker brown and I look like that. So that's the one what I'm going to do. So I'm going to use my makeup sponge and I'm start coloring my foundation. And remember from our tutorial number 80, um, number uh, number 80, and when sorry number 81, when you apply the color, you try to apply horizontal. Okay, try to keep your stroke um, like the same direction. Otherwise, it kind of looks uh, um, too complicated. So gently uh, rub your um, make a sponge on surface of your car stock and they always start from the scrap paper. Don't start from your car. And we're going to add a little bit darker color. So try to keep it one sponge in uh, one color. Always apply a little bit. If it's not enough, we can add more. And you can um, change the direction of your car stock. Okay, so that's my uh, base color and now I'm going to be working on the background. The background color, I don't really, um, let's see, I don't really want to use the same color tone. I am going to try something different. So I'm going to use this uh, um, multicolor impact. They have something purple and there's some kind of gray green color and uh, we are going to apply some purple. Okay, and then remember again, okay, one direction and the store from your scrap paper. Okay, so rub the color on top and the brush your impact. Okay, don't tap, brush a little bit. Okay, and I'm going to use uh, the other clean makeup sponge. Um, try a little bit green. Kind of rubbing the color on top. Okay, so I think that looks kind of unique, right? And then I already did this uh, car, um, this stamp image with a wave background, and I did clear embossing and I use a heat gun. You can use clear or you can use white, they all work just fine. And then this time we are going to do a little bit blue color. So this one away and remember use a clean makeup sponge okay clean makeup sponge and we're going to apply light color see how pretty it is light color rotate it you can do different kind of tone okay that's pretty much okay I want to see light and dark Okay, and here is something else. Okay, I'm going to use a Kleenex and I'm going to spray with a little bit of water, not too much. And then I'm kind of clean. You 
you can see, because my clear emb um, clear um, embossing image is kind of covered with ink, so those wave, um, it doesn't that wave like cloud. It doesn't really show well. So we're going to clean it. So very easy. Not too much water. Just a little bit water. And see, I kind of just clean the surface. It does pick up some blue, right? And that stamp image is going to pop out a little bit better. Okay, so here is something that you need to know is that because of our surface is the embossing, is a heated embossing powder. So it's not smooth anymore. If you want to glue a, the other piece of paper on top, because the surface is not smooth, so you're going to have a very hard time to tape it. So I will recommend you those kind of yellow tape. They are extremely strong and sticky. So we're going to use that one to tape it. So that way um, this uh, cloud is going to stay. If you just use regular double side tape, they are not strong enough to hold it. So this is the base and then I am going to just tape my elephant on top. Okay, so that's what it looks like. So, so far I already make three cards with our ESO die and our white safari. Let me know which one is your favorite and I would love to see what you do with or ESO die and please send it to me. I will be very happy to see your artwork. So or, or 2019 for design is coming soon. Um, by the end of this tutorial, you will get a preview to see what's the new image. They are all going to be a combo set. That means they will have the stamp and two die cut for only $24.99. We are going to have a very awesome pre-order deal. Make sure you sign out your newsletter or follow us on Facebook or subscribe our YouTube channel. Or 2020 um, Alaska Stamping Cruise, we have a date, is August 2nd, and uh, it's so much fun. We are doing every year, one year go to Caribbean, and one year uh, we go to Alaska. We um, come back from Caribbean in February, and we had so much fun on board. Um, it's, uh, it's fun to do it because we keep you busy when we're in the open sea. As soon as uh, when the cruise dock, you can do your short excursion. You won't miss nothing. You won't miss um, the class. You won't miss your make and take. You won't miss your short, crew, uh, short exclusion. So, and we have a lot of husbands on board too. So if you worry about your husband get bored, we are going to park all together. They will keep each other busy. It's a great opportunity to meet people and to, to meet the new stamper and then make friends and our Alaska cruise we already have a 20 people signed out 10 of them are the people who signed out or Caribbean cruise they did the Caribbean cruise and they had so much fun and they, they will join us again we have a small classes you can get all the information from localkingrobertstand.com thank you for watching the tutorial and stay tuned more tutorial is coming